Hey everybody, John Zodians here and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Sundays. I'm um, sorry I missed you yesterday, but I needed a break. Um, so I'm doing it today, okay? And uh, this week, <laughs> we're going to be talking about all the multiple Virgos that are happening this Friday, plus the new moon in Virgo, which is also happening this Friday. All right, so this week we are dealing with multiple Virgos. I mean, last week you guys already know I was talking about Virgos and how it's shifted or Venus and Mars has shifted into Virgo and it's Virgo season as well. Well, this Friday we are going to experience a new moon in Virgo and also Mercury is shifting into Virgo as well. So we are dealing with five Virgos at the same time, you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> But it's not terrible either. So you're either going to feel really anxiety ridden, like Virgo is a very anxious sign, right? That perfectionism in them it causes them to have so much anxiety and to overthink. Remember, their ruling planet is Mercury. This is a planet that they share with Gemini. So they overthink to exhaustion. However, because they have Mercury and that they are a mutable Earth sign, they are adaptable, meaning they thrive during anxious times, right? They thrive when there's a lot of things on their plates because they like to organize their thoughts as an earth sign. This is something that they do very well. Now, what does this mean for you as somebody who's not a Virgo, okay? Or that doesn't have earth in their natal chart. If you don't have earth signs in your natal chart, then this will be a very difficult time for you. <laughs> this will be a very difficult time for you, mostly because I mean, and, and or if you don't have water signs in your Mercury, because if you don't have water signs in, in your Mercury or your Venus or your Mars, you will find that there will be an imbalance in your energies during this time. Does that make sense? So Earth and water, they tend to complement each other naturally. Now, if you have Earth and air, that's a problem because they're incompatible. And if you have Earth and fire, that creates a power combination okay earth and fire fire is power and it's also a bully effect too depending on how you utilize your energy so watch out for that <laughs> so when friday hits you're either gonna be really really anxious and overwhelmed okay by your thoughts or you're gonna be completely organized and you're gonna get refocused or you're gonna get hyper-focused on certain goals that you have in mind for yourself, okay? Or it can be hyper-focused on trivial things as well or overly critical of yourselves too. Try not to be overly critical of yourselves during this time or too harsh. Try to recognize the things that are overwhelming you or triggering you during this time. So let's talk about that for a second. Virgo is the saint, the virgin. They want human experiences, okay? They are all human. But just because they're all human does not mean that they feel all feelings. They are not a water sign. They are an earth sign, meaning they analyze, okay, human emotions. They distance themselves or detach themselves from human emotions. They want to understand and accept people as they are. But you have to be honest and you have to show it. You have to be genuine because they're good at spotting that shit, okay? The thing about it is, is when we apply that energy into our own lives, especially if you don't have compatible signs um, that complement this Virgo energy, you will have a hard time trying to differentiate between what's real and what's fake. You will overly criticize somebody if you feel like they're being fake when they're not. So you have to be very careful of that. You have to be very careful of that. You got to check yourself because sometimes we are trying to analyze something that's not actually there, okay? So this is a time to be completely realistic about your surroundings and your environment. But this is also a time for people too to get real with themselves, real with the community, real with whatever's happening, a certain situation or a certain person in your life, okay? It's time to analyze the things that, are beneficial to your life. It's time to analyze a person's, another person's feelings towards you. It's time to analyze a lot of things that just do not or will not help you. Okay. 
Um, I feel like with all the cancer that came around, and I mean cancer, the zodiac sign from last month into trickling down into this month, it's good to have this much Virgo because it's like we're cleansing. We were supposed to cleanse a lot of our uh, direct environment, right? You were supposed to cleanse people from your life too because if they were toxic to you, you shouldn't have kept them around. But if you yourself are toxic and you're just stubborn, you don't want to acknowledge these things in yourself, then you know what? You only have yourself to blame, really. So if you're going to go in on yourself during this Virgo time, then maybe it's deserved. Maybe it's not. You have to differentiate between the two. And I say this all the time, too. Like, you need to reflect and meditate. These are things that should already be part of your lifestyle. And if they're not, then um, again, how are you living? How are you making goals in life? How are you moving yourself forward? You're not constantly reflecting on yourself. You're not constantly, you know, talking to yourself in that way getting to know yourself in that way, right? So long story short, you guys, and then we'll get to the new moon and, and how to fix your intentions. During this time of multiple Virgos, you need to understand that you have too much on your damn plate. Okay, it's time to be realistic about your goals as well. And this bleeds into the new moon that is happening on the 30th this Friday which also Mercury is shifting into Virgo on Friday as well. So it's time to create a battle plan, <laughs> a battle plan for your life, a plan for your life, a strategy for your life moving forward. I know people have had a difficult time because we've had a lot of Leos. So it was like being passionate, being grand. What do they call it? Like uh, ideas of grandeur, um, just wanting things without limitations. And that wasn't necessarily very realistic for a lot of people. So they found themselves struggling to get things moving, right? Or they just were just all dreams and didn't do shit about it. Whatever your situation is, whatever it is, when Virgo new moon and Mercury comes around, you will be much more realistic about everything that's happening. It's kind of like Virgo's coming in to kind of shut things down. <laughs> like, hey, we know you were dreaming about all this stuff earlier in the month, but this month or at the end of this month, we can't do those things. And it's okay. <laughs> it's okay not to have the energy to do or commit to those things. Okay? So keep that in mind as well. If you were just holding on to something because you're being stubborn, whether it's a person or situation or just a career goal or whatever it is, an investment, try not to hold on to it too much. Remember, Virgo is a mutable earth sign, so they are very, very adaptable and they can switch gears at any time and they don't care to start over again because they know they have this faith in themselves like we can we can rebuild. OK, earth signs tend to do that, but none more than Virgos who are constantly evolving mentally and want their surroundings to be evolved as well. So under this new moon in Virgo, let me help you with your intent, because a lot of people, they struggle with this. Like, let me give you an example. So during this week, I found myself to be very overwhelmed. And I was like, you know, Joan, you know, you want to do all these great things and you want to make all this content, but you're only one person. You can't do all of these things. It's not realistic. So I've already started to think these things, but I have a Virgo moon. So I'm always thinking these things, <laughs> but I'm understanding now that it's time to cut out the things that are just not viable that I just for my energy, they just no longer vibe. And one of the things that I'm starting to realize is that I am sick of social media in general. I don't want to deal with it. I want to delete all my apps. Um, YouTube, I don't really consider social media. I, I don't think it's social media, but correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I only want to keep my podcast and I only want to keep YouTube and I want to just cut out the things that are toxic in my life. And I'm not saying people are toxic on social media at all. They Most people have been kind, but I just feel like it's too much. You know what I mean? And these are things that you have to think of too, not necessarily the same thing, but just things that are just too much in your life where you feel like you cannot give too much energy to multiple things at once, right? 
And because Virgo is a mutable earth sign, it's going to make you feel like you could do all of these things, like you want to do all of these things. But that's why you have to have a strategy, a realistic strategy, strategy in place for everything. Now, under this new moon, my intent is going to be this. And I encourage you to either follow the same thing or you can create your own. It's really up to you. But for me, I like to use the elements of the sign under the moon. And remember, the moon for new moon is new emotional energy because the moon influences our emotions, our inner habits, okay, our instincts. And because it's in Virgo, we want to be again, and I keep saying this word so that you can remember it. We want to be realistic and we want to have human experiences. We want to be detached from our emotions. We want to make a plan. And that's what you should be doing. Now, reflect on everything that is weighing heavily on your mind and your heart and your soul. On the Put everything on the table. Okay, write it all down. And start deleting things. <laughs> start crossing them out. This is how you build that intent and you fix things, right? So your new energy going in is like, what can I realistically get rid of right now and try to be unbiased as possible or as as mo emotionally distant as possible from that decision? Okay, we want to use our logic. We want to use our reasoning for all of these things. Maybe if you're stuck on a situation or decision, try to make a pros and cons list and then commit to that. Okay, commit to that. I'm seeing a lot of people trying to hold on. And this is just a natural human emotion where they just want to hold on to something because they invested so much energy into it. That doesn't mean shit in the long run. Okay. It doesn't mean anything. We are constant. Our energy is constantly evolving. If you want to be the old you, you want to be the present you, then you're going to stick to that and you're going to stay stagnant. If you want to evolve, you want to be a better person. You have to let go of things. It is, it's a part of life. Life is a and death are married to each other. Okay. So sometimes we have to, and just I'm I'm just speaking, you know, not literally, we have to kill things in our lives, right? Emotional attachments in our lives to move forward. We have to better ourselves. And that's what having this Virgo energy will do to us. It's pushing us forward, it's propelling us forward. Or it's giving you a shit ton of anxiety and you don't know how to deal with it. Okay? And if that's you, just do what I said. List everything out and start deleting things that are causing you too much anxiety. Recognize your triggers at this point. If you don't know your triggers, then you need to write them down. Like, so you can remember them. <laughs> Practice prevention. This is something that I do. Um, especially because I have a Virgo moon, so it hits me a little bit harder and I practice prevention a lot. And when I talk about prevention, I'm talking about if a person makes me feel a certain way, if I know things about myself, like if I get jealous or if I get angry or if I, you know, I experience all human emotions just like everybody else. But unlike a lot of people, I acknowledge these things. I own these things and I learn to fix fix these things, right? And that's why I practice prevention. Like I know as a Sagittarius son, I have a shopping addiction. I prevent myself from going to the mall because I know myself <laughs> and I will leave with no money left. <laughs> so I practice prevention. That's one. Another trigger is I don't like when people are yelling at me. It, it really sets me off. And mind you, I have a Mercury in Scorpio. So to me, I don't, I don't sit there and argue. We, we, mm, mm. It's something else. Let me tell you. And so I practice prevention. I stay away from people that bring that out of me because I don't like that side of myself. Okay. So all I'm trying to tell you is this is the moment where you have to reflect on every single detail. Remember, Virgos are detailed as fuck. You have to Go over everything and then release those things under the new moon, whether you do it under, under the new moon or, you know, a couple days after or whenever you're free, just do it. 
All right. So that's all I have for you guys. Just know that if you are following me on social media or anything like that, I'm probably going to post less things on there so I can focus really on my podcast and more YouTube videos. Um, And that's really what I want to do, like really grow my audience over here. And I think that Facebook and Instagram, like this is me criticizing them, but they're just, they're, I don't know. They're like, they're falling off or something. Like, I just feel like I just want something different or I just want to explore other different paths for myself and Facebook and Instagram. I feel like you have to pay to play at this point. And I'm not hating on anybody else. If that's something that you do, because that's basic advertising and marketing, but I ain't here for it. Okay. That, and then another rule that ain't going to be me. And that's my little email signing me off you guys, but Love you so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Sorry that this was a little bit longer, but you guys needed it or I needed it or somebody needed it. All right. So see you guys next week. Bye. Love you.